Well, this is a lovely sculpture made by David Nash. It's called Multicut Column and it was made in the year 2000. I wonder what like the sculpture is like meant to be. What was it like made for? I just want to know why it was made. What was David Nash trying to achieve? How did it get its name? What is holding it together? Well, we don't know much at the moment, uh, so we'll go and have a look and we'll investigate and we'll find out lots more about it. It's cool. I like it. To me, it just looks like a Coke bottle. It looks like waves because like, they look like they're overlapping each other. My name's Melanie Paledri and I'm a curator here at the Museum in Cardiff. This is a temporary exhibition by the sculptor David Nash and he is based in Blyna Festiniog and it's about the works that he's produced there over the last 50 years. This is a cube, this is a sphere and this is a pyramid. This is a sphere this is a sphere and this is a sphere. This is a column. All these shapes, they all tend to appear in David Nash's work quite often. I think that um, the thing on the top looks like a giant leaf. It looks like a cracked bowl on a table. It looks like a bath. It looks like a very relaxing bath. This is a picture of David Nash's studio in Blenheim de Stineog. And look, one, two, three columns. How did the multi-cut column get its name? Multi-cut column has its name because it describes the object. And it's a column of beech wood and it's from a tree trunk. And it's been cut into eight planes and those planes then have been sliced into with a chainsaw to create the multi-cuts. I really like the patterns that he makes. I wonder if he did it on purpose or by accident. The multi-cut column was part of a series of crack and walk, walk columns such as the one behind me and he would use the, um, the chainsaw and very very carefully cut the slits into the wood and then he would let nature take its course and these works were primarily indoors so they would start to dry out so the wood would then crack and warp creating all the different shapes within the work. What other artists inspired David Nash? One particular sculptor that David Nash was inspired by was the 1960s abstract sculptor David Smith who worked with steel and he created large outdoor sculptures in steel. David Nash wanted to create the same bond with wood as David Smith had done with steel. I think this exhibition just demonstrates how many different ways you can use wood to create so many different effects. I've learned that although David Nash only worked with wood, he used loads and loads of different techniques. He used axes, he used chainsaws, uh, to make the multi-cut column and he burnt wood in such specific ways that it gives a different effect to any, compared to any art I've ever seen. I just think it's incredible. Why? Because every day for 50 years he practiced and practiced and investigated new techniques that no artist had ever even dreamed of using. 